Okay, obviously a disappointing loss. Um, you know, I think you got to give those guys credit. I think they came in and played really well, had a good game plan against us. Uh, they made it difficult for us, um, really kind of in all phases. Um, it's a good team that we played, and, and uh, they were the better team tonight. Uh, Dennis, did you consider at any point making a change at quarterback? No, I didn't. Um, look, we, 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 there was a lot that, that wasn't good offensively tonight, you know, and so there's a lot of dirty hands in that. Dennis, I have two that are sort of related. First of all, um, you didn't, you guys didn't use uh, Taysom Hill much in those early short yardage packages. Was there anything about the matchup that, that didn't seem to favor that? No, look, I mean, you know, just like everything else, I mean, you go in with a game plan, you have some plays that you like, you know, um, and certainly when they don't work, then, you know, everybody's going to wonder why, you know, you, you did what you did. So, um, look, they, they, uh, they beat us tonight. You know, yeah. they beat us in a lot of different areas. And, and I was going to ask specifically about um, your offense against their defense, the, the physicality and the pressure they got on you. Is there anything yeah. that you saw that led to them having such an advantage in that area? Well, yeah, I, I think I think I think they um, obviously they did a good job of being able to stop the run. Uh, we we struggled to be able to run the ball. They got their hands up, batted down a lot of passes. Um, they had some nice pressure packages that were able to get some pressure on the quarterback. So um, again, they did a lot of good things defensively that caused us a lot of challenges. And and uh, we've got to go back to the drawing board and uh, make some corrections and uh, be better next week. Dennis, do you feel like this is the most physical team you went up against this year? Yes. I think this is a physical football team, and we knew that going in. Yeah, we, we ask you this pretty much every time you play this type of quarterback, but is there anything like that you guys feel like you, you maybe didn't do as well as you wanted to against th this type of running Well, group? look, there's a lot of challenges that go along with it, and, and I was just sitting in there visiting with Mickey, you know, and I know the first question we're going to get is about, you know, the run game and things of that nature, you know, um, I think they had about 40 minutes time of possession. And so if you allow that type of run game to stay on the field for 40 minutes in a game, um, you're going to give up some some rushing yards. Uh, I thought in the first half, I thought we, we did a pretty good job uh, of, of kind of minimizing that, limiting that. Um, I thought as the as the game wore on, um, I thought that's where you saw some of their you know better runs and more explosive runs. Coach. How much does a total of 48 yards hamper the game plan in terms of what you may want it to accomplish? accomplish? How and mu How much does what? How much limited rushing yards when the running game is, if the defense is able to make the offense one dimensional, if you will, how much does, the, does that change the play calling and impact the total game? Yeah, it makes it, it makes it more challenging. You know, anytime you get in a position where you can't run the football and, and, and you've got to just go back and throw it, um, it, it makes it challenging. So having the ability to, you know, keep a defense off balance is, is an important part of what we do. Um, th this one seemed a little obvious, but w how was the first touchdown uh, that Lamar Jackson threw? Was that a result of the defense sort of being sucked in by the run threat? Yeah, yeah. And, and look, that all those things are, are what make what makes the things that they're able to do, you know, challenging because you got to get a bunch of hats to the ball, and uh, they did a nice job of executing there. Coach, the ability for most of the season that I've looked back on, the Ravens haven't had a the ball, at least in that many possessions, the time of possession, like you said. Is that a difference, you know, in the play call from defensively, you being a defensive guy on the setup, at least of the, the, the scheme? Well, I'm not sure that I totally understand the question. Um, you know, obviously, you know the the time of possession is a, is a is a factor of all phases of the game, and so uh, we did not do a good enough job on third down um, in 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 either aspect, offensively or defensively. And I think that's what really led to their time of possession advantage. Um, you know, and, and we talked about that being a critical factor in the game is being able to convert third downs and have some efficiency offensively and then defensively when we got him to third down we had to be able to get off the field and we didn't do that well enough. Hey Dennis, you mentioned the last two weeks you're committed to Andy at quarterback as long as the offense continues to perform. Does a game like this change that at all? No, I think this is a this is a you know over the last whatever it's been five weeks, I think our offense has has 
been pretty good and, and moved the ball effectively. This was not a good game tonight. Uh, you know, so uh, we'll evaluate as we move forward. But um, I'm looking at this as a, as a we had a bad day at the office offensively tonight, and, and we've got to improve from it. Do you have any updates on any of the injured players, like Warner and McCoy? Uh, no, I don't have any updates as of right now. All right, thanks.